Hi there, my name is Blessing and you're welcome back to Time Out with B. On today's episode, I'm going to be doing a media review. I'm going to be asking us a series of questions that would help us reevaluate the past six months and plan for the next six months. I'm not putting anybody under pressure here. This is just a way to you know hold ourselves accountable for all the goals we've set in january and if you've not achieved some of those goals from january till now this is the best time for you to sit down reevaluate what can you hard remove or even subtract and re, um, readjust your goal for the next six months so that 2021 will be a great year as we all want it to be <laughs> So the first question I'm going to ask is describe the past six months in one word. You can describe each month with one word or you collectively describe all the months with one word. Like you can say May for me was healing, June for me was restoration, um, April for me was um, rest you know it's a period where i have to rest um january for me was reevaluation so just describe the past six months or six months in one word rate from number one to ten how much you agree with this statement in the past six months i took steps to get closer to my goals list all your highlights for the past month what are the major things that happened to you? What are the memorable things that happened to you? List down all the highlights from, from January to June. Ask yourself, what is one thing I have learned this past six months? What is one thing I have learned? And write it down. Also ask yourself, what are the things I'm most proud of? in the past six months what are the things you've done you've achieved what are the milestones you've reached that you are most proud of write it down ask yourself in what area do i need to improve for the next six months ask yourself how has this year surprised me so far what have i learned this year that i didn't expect what is something you have learned this year that you didn't expect? Now I want you to review your 2021 goals, the goals you wrote down in 2021. Check off the ones you've achieved and ask yourself, what are the top three goals that I need to focus on in the next three months? What are the new goals I want to achieve before this year runs out? I need you to write it. Let me give you an example. It's just like in 20. 21 in January 2021 when I was writing out my goal I I didn't put in some goals some things happened and some things clicked and I'm like this is the best time for me to do this and it just automatically became part of my goals for this year so there are definitely some goals that you didn't start this year with you weren't in planning to achieve them this year but along this year things happened opportunities came or or your um, plans got rearranged and you have to factor in new goals so write those goals down and write out how you want to concentrate on them okay that ends it for the review for the past year and now let, let us go to planning for the next six months to plan for the next six months i want you to use the power of words okay i want us to use the power of words and i want you to say the next six months would be dash so put in the keyword will it be fantastic will it be peaceful will it be healing will it be multiplication will it be rest what is that word that you want to use to qualify the next six months of this year so in the past exercise we did um, the goals that you have not achieved, the remaining goals that are left for you to achieve this month, the new goals that have joined them. Now write out the top three goals for the next six months. 
what are your top three goals for the next six months then write out your mini goals so if you have a paper or if you are jotting it down in a journal then you have a smaller place where you write mini goals and you can write out your mini goals your top goals will be up top three goals you write them down then you write mini goals now i want you to break down those goals into months and weeks okay you might not be able to do the weekly breakdown right now from now this is june so planning like weekly from now till december can be a bit overwhelming but i want you to divide it into monthly goals so those top three goals divide them into monthly goals the mini goals divide them into monthly goals and i will advise you that in each month you enter divide those monthly goals into weekly goals and the last part which is definitely not the least is put them into your calendar make sure your calendar for the next um six months is filled up you might not have all the details and it might change along the way like i said in my previous goal setting videos though we should be focused on our goals but we shouldn't be dogmatic about it as the time change as the season change as opportunity comes and go we should change along with it don't let us be too stiff with our goals but at the same time we shouldn't lose focus so make sure your calendar is filled like right now if you ask me what is the major thing you want to do in september I know it's at the top of my head what is the major thing you want to do in december i know it's at the top of my head so let it be like that write it down in your journal write it down on the intentional living planner put it put them down in the weekly so when you get to each week you already know that oh i need to do this i need to do that and if you have any goal you would like me to work with just send me a dm and i would love to work with you to achieve your goal okay Tell me in the comment section if you love videos like this and you want me to constantly do it every month and do the monthly review and plan for the next month together with you. Please tell me in the comment section. I would love to do it because I love setting goals actually. <laughs> if you don't know yet. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on all the beautiful content coming your way. And if you've not watched my previous goal setting videos, right here and right here make sure you check them out i know you will enjoy them one thing this year has taught me so far is that things always change nothing is fixed one thing i'm learning this year so far is to pause think before acting i know there are some opportunities that come our ways that um, you know you need to act fast right but there are some times that it's working for everybody does not mean it will work for you. I've entered some things that it was working for the previous people and immediately I entered it, it just stopped working, you get? And so one thing this year has taught me is pause, think, then act. And the most beautiful thing is um, sharing with someone, you know. If I'm not the only one thinking about it, someone else will think about it from another perspective, another angle. And so this year, I'm learning how to share, how to share ideas with people before taking action, how to pause, think, then act. That's one, <laughs> one great thing this year has taught me so far. <laughs> and I would love to hear what this year has actually taught you. Please share with me in the comment section what is one thing this year is currently teaching you or you're currently learning. I would love to learn too, okay? Thank you.